Oh, I am back. Okay. So I'm pretty sure we're on episode 3 now. A Crooked Mile. Our stories used to be so simple. We had a beginning, a middle, and an end. But ever since we moved to this awful city, everything's gotten so confused. Look, I didn't kill anyone. And I'm supposed to just believe you. Snow. I just want you to be careful. I almost lost you once, and... I'm not yours to lose. I'm not going to be an errand girl for Crane anymore. She looks like Holly. It's not Holly. It's her sister, Lily. She was looking to pay down debt. Eventually, the only people she owed were at her work. Yeah, yeah a gangster. Oh, 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 fuck. I forgot about that. My name is Nerissa. Well, Nerissa, I've got some questions. How, yeah, how much you cost? The open arms. Oh, my God. What is it? <gasps> it's Crane. Motherfucking piece of shit. Crane? Ugh, God, you'd think you'd know a person. Yeah, yeah, you think you know him? You have to tell her. I know. What's going on? What did you find up there? You know, other than the... Crane's, Crane's the killer. What? Ichabod Crane? How do you know? Shit! Uh, I found his picture. Oh, Bigby, calm down. Everything's going to be fine. Okay, it's going to be fine. Will someone please explain this to me? Uh. Crane might be following Snow. If I can find her, I can... God damn it! Okay, it's it's going to be okay. Where did you see her last? Did she say where she was going? She took Holly to the business office to prepare for the funeral. Lily's funeral? Yeah. How do you know... I was just at the trip trap, and I heard Gren telling some folks about a funeral at the Buckingham the Bridge. trip trap? Are you drinking... When? Hey, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if Beast has been drinking either, man. Big B. Wait. Fuck you, want? Snow's. Snow's been through a lot. There are things she doesn't talk about. She's Just been through shit. Please be careful. I know. No, you don't know. I do know. Now go back inside. You saw that picture. Well, it's going to be much worse for her. Just remember that. Uh. No, I don't think I will actually. I think I'm good. Nearly ten thirty at night. Who would have a funeral at ten thirty at night? fables she was truly close to. Okay, I won't do anything. I'll just wait. If you're here, then you were part of a very special circle. People she trusted and cared for. I won't, um, offend you by claiming one day that, that the pain of losing Lily will ever subside. I know as well as you that it will never subside. But I also know that that the memory of Lily will sustain as well. Your Highness. Oh, uh, Sheriff. Yeah. I'm sorry, I, uh, I hold not. About as well as you think. I haven't had any other, um, it's only been as bad as when you saw me, at least. I was angry at first, when I heard that Lily was getting a funeral, and Holly was getting closure. 
I wanted that too. And I wanted it for Faith. But then I remembered Faith lived a story Lily never did. She had her adventure. She got to live in the light of forever after Lily. For a while. So let Lily have a better finish. It all evened it out. I'm sorry, Lawrence. I'm sorry, Lawrence. I know, Sheriff. And thanks for saving my life. Take care of things, okay? Aye, aye, Captain! Bigby, is everything okay? Hey, hey, I did nothing wrong. Chill, I'm not here to start oh, shit. I chill. Fucking invited. I, well, I invited myself. He has no right to be here. Not after what he did. Holly, I'm sorry, but I had to come. You throw my sister down the witching well. I didn't do that. You have the nerve to show your face here. After you lie. After you promise me. I didn't do shit. Holly, wait. That was Crane. Just Crane. He disposed of Lily's body before Big B could do anything about it. I'm telling you the truth. Don't cover for him. But this genuinely wasn't his fault. You can't tell me Big B gives a shit about this. Holly, it's going to be okay. Sir, I didn't know. I'm sorry, Holly. I, I didn't know he put her down the witching well. Big B cares, Holly. He's trying to help, and I'm sure he has a very good reason for uh, being Yeah, I do. But this one isn't on him. Why are you here, anyway? And don't say it's because you care about this. Everything okay? Yeah, I think I know who murdered your sister. I think I know who murdered your sister. Who? Maybe we should talk about this somewhere else? What? Fuck no! No, I deserve to know. Yeah, no, she deserves. Deserve yeah, they, yeah, they all deserve. It's no keeping it quiet is not gonna I know, be good. I, I know, but this isn't the way to go about this. What? I don't give a fuck about the way. I don't care about procedure. No, yeah, fuck no. Told, it's it was Crane. It's us, right I think now. it was Crane. I think it was Ichabod Crane. What? Crane. Crane. Okay, everyone, just stop. Bigby and I are going to have a little chat while everyone else gets back to the funeral. What? He says that fucking crane murdered Lel. No, I said I think. Please, I promise I will tell you what the hell is going on just as soon as I know there's something to tell, but just let us do our jobs first. Look, Holly, I know how this must No, you don't know how this must feel. You have no idea. Don't fuck anything up. Don't bother anybody. And when the first sign of trouble comes, and it will come because you're a goddamn walking trap for yeah. it, I want you the fuck out of here. You hear me? Of course. Of course. Won't even know I'm here. Let's just continue, okay? This is such total fucking bullshit. Let's go, Holly. It's your turn to talk. Snow's not gonna like me for telling everyone. Crane. Yeah. I can't believe this. This is someone I've worked with for decades. This is a guy. He gets freaking shakes when he has to order food. I mean, he gets what shakes. Are you telling me it, it's all an act. Just what have you found? Like sh. Uh. Bigby. Snow, Crane is completely obsessed with you. Oh my god, if this is about how Crane treats me at work... Just I... listen to me for a second, alright? I followed a lead to this shithole motel, the Open Arms. Crane had a room there, and he's been taking prostitutes, or at the very least Lily, and making her look like you while he was... you know. He, he plays your story over and over again. This is... I don't even know. What hey, Mr. Right Powell. I really don't. How are you going? I'm just uh, doing everything I can right now. No, I'm sorry. To not picture it. I'm sorry. Yeah, you should picture it. It's kind of and fucking I'm sorry creepy. I had to be the one to tell you. You're sure this is what happened? This is what he's been doing. You played the walking. Because yeah, I played it too. It's really good. I agree. <laughs> I'm showing her the photo. 
Yeah, check this out. You took a cab here, right? <laughs> I'll drive. Snow? Marissa? What is it? I'm sorry, but Holly's asking for you. Are they starting the burn? Yes. Everyone who spoke should really be present for this part. She's kind of distraught. You're not leaving yet, are you? Two minutes. I don't mean to be... Um, no, I understand. Take your time. No. Take your time. Take your time. It won't take long. Are you not going back over there? How'd it go? At the motel? Did you find anything? Yup. I, uh, I did. It helped a lot. Thanks. Nerissa! Yeah, um, coming! Oh great! I'm no girl. I'm fucking big, big. You say, how do you do? How do you do? You're about to regret this. I tell you to run, but it won't do any good. Just make it more fun for me. What are you dreaming about? You ain't a fast enough pup to prevent me from emptying both barrels into Snow White's face over there. I'm still hurting, you know, from our talk. Cell. <laughs> and I'll be Too honest, bad. I'd love nothing more than to carve a sweet poem right into your face for the suffering you've caused. Me. Yeah, I can't die that easily. Professional, and we're here for a job. We'll snip to the chase for all sakes. A little bird told us that you're fitting to go after Crane, and you see, we have an interest in that particular boy. So you leave Crane alone, and we leave you alone. Just take a little vacation. Uh... Don't even have to go anywhere. Don't do pull this shit at a funeral. We can deal with this later. No, not later. Later's too late. Right now. So what's it gonna be? We have a deal? You leave Crane alone and we leave you to yours. Brother, yes, speak your mind fastly now. What's it gonna be? You think I'm scared? This act you got going scares me? Cause it doesn't. Always wanting to do things the fun way. Ladies, gentlemen, invertebrates. Invertebrates, he says. Easy. This is not the hell is going on. What's happening? Very sorry to impose, but we only had a deal to work out with Bigby. And we're unhappy to report that things did not go as smoothly as planned. Bigby, what is he talking about? Uh, Never you mind that. It ain't any of your... What deal? They want me to leave Crane alone. Oh, now you shouldn't have done that. Oh, no, I think I really should have. That wasn't right, telling everyone our dealings. I didn't even make a deal with you. What did I tell you? Oh, no, it's the troll Gussie. Holly? You think you motherfuckers could come <laughs> in? Look, I ripped his arm off. You think you could just fucking interrupt Lily's funeral? Calm down, darling. It's just a simple business transaction. Kill him! You fucking freaks are not getting away with this. Holly, don't move. It's not worth it, Holly. They'll leave on their own. Yeah, let's spare all the fuss. It's just a deal. Okay, yeah, kill. you can kill him now. I'm gonna kill you! Yeah, do it. I'm not gonna stop it. Kill him! Choke him out! <laughs> Why are they so fast? If Fable are really so hard to kill, then why the fuck did, would they bring a shotgun? If they know, if they know that's not going to kill someone. Wait, what's the point? Like, the last time I checked, the only way to kill Bigby is silver.
pretty much nearly an hour later. I did as well as I could to take out the buckshot, but there's still some shards left embedded in your shoulder. They'll eventually warm their way out on their own, but until they do, you're going to be sore. Big B, Dr. Swinehart was appointed Fable Town physician for a reason. It's okay. There's only one thing you have to take away from all this. Take it easy. <clears throat> Don't go looking for any more fights. Keep strain off your heart. Are you okay? Yeah. She has to be real. She's kind of turned on right she, now. She's fine, Big B. I had everyone that got wounded sent home. Holly refused to let me see where she lived. So I left her and Brendel back at her bar with a dose of juniper and spring water. Spring Just water? what I said. The stitches won't hold up if you continue to act like you normally do. <laughs> what, like a like a beast? That's what I am. Eat more chicken. Your blood pressure's through the proverbial roof. I'll try to. All right then. Very good. Business office. I know. I'll have to call you back. The town is starting to find out. Well, I'll leave you two to it then. Miss White, Big V. Swine heart. She's kind of turned on. Let's be real. So, yeah, she is. Recap. Crane watched me through the magic mirror uncover his room at the open arms. And then he smashed it so we couldn't use it ourselves to go after him. And we know this because Buffkin was drinking in the rafters. That about cover it? Once he puts all the pieces back together, it'll be easy to catch Crane. So, I guess that's the plan, currently. But I, I don't know. There's no other leads. This is it. Just wait for the mirror. Yeah. What the hell is going on? Just, I don't know what the Tweedles get out of this. I don't know if Crane sent them. I don't know if... I mean, this is gonna sound crazy, but... Do you really think Crane did it? No. Everything points to him. I get it. But do you really think he killed those women? I'm as confused as you are, to be honest. I don't know. It just doesn't make sense. He's... He was a conniver. A, a coward. A liar. And <laughs> I'll always... Liar. And I'll hate him for how he... Held me in his thoughts. But murdering prostitutes... Ow! Everything okay over there? Yes, Miss White. Just cut myself on a piece of the glass. Nothing to worry about. Thanks for tonight, by the way. That could have gone really terribly. I mean, even worse than it did. I just feel bad for Holly, really. Yeah. Time heals everything eventually. No, it doesn't. At least, I hope so. Nah, it, it really doesn't. Can I, um, ask you a question? Yeah, go for it. It's kind of personal. Oh, fucking and eight inches. I don't want to offend you, but after tonight... Sure. It's just, when stuff hits the fan, like, like it did tonight, it feels like before we came to the city, it feels kind of like home. And I've heard it said that maybe in some tiny little bottled up way deep inside you kind of enjoy it when things go wrong fuck she's on to me because it gives you an excuse to just you know stop pretending why even bring this up i guess it doesn't matter it doesn't we, we all know the truth i do enjoy uh, it guys we have a problem what is it i can't finish the mirror it's missing a piece what do you mean, missing a piece? Yes, it's, uh, it's not here. I saw Crane pick something up after he smashed it. I'm sorry, I didn't realize what it was until now. The mirror can't work unless it's whole. Well, that's not entirely true. Or what, Buffkin? What? We sit around and wait until it mends itself? We have no idea how long that will take. We're just gonna have to do this the hard way. I'm just saying, waiting is an option. No. We can't depend on the mirror. 
He had to have left something that tells us where he's going. He's a neat freak, but he was never that smart. Smart enough to take a piece of the mirror. <laughs> we can still solve this ourselves. I know never that. Never mind that. Come help me look. What is it? That's the key to his room at the open arms. You still haven't told me what was in there. I want to know. I need to know. A lot of blood and flowers. I keep thinking back. I keep replaying moments in my head. Interactions with him when he'd catch me in the elevator or bump into me outside. There's only so much you can repress, you know? Snow, you, you couldn't have known. No, I could have. No, not really. Come on, let's keep looking. No, you couldn't. <laughs> if he if he really like kept it a secret. She, she's happy about it? Okay. There's a page here that was torn out. Oh, yeah? Buffkin, do you know what was here? It's a ring, at least. Every magical item not retained in the armory is assigned to someone in Fable Town. It must be this witch he is going to see. Wait, what? What witch? What meeting? Well, he called up somebody. He said he needed to see his witch, or that he would need to get to the witch for that. Whoever that is. Well, yes, it sounded like the one he got his, uh, you glamours from. I'm sure it's about this ring. They must have it. Why not mention this before? No one asked me. Buffkin! And I'm hungover. I'm sorry. <laughs> Fair enough. The meeting at 2 a.m. tonight. What's going on? Is the mirror fixed yet? Bluebeard, this isn't the time. Is the mirror fixed or isn't it? You called I me I called to... just to see if you knew where Crane could be, and that was it, okay? And I'm sorry I said anything more than that. Well, you did, and I know. The cat's out of the bag. So, can we find the dull pervert or not? No, it can't be fixed. It's missing a piece. This is none of Bluebeard's business, Bigby. None of my business? Crane's the murderer. Uh, alleged murderer. He spoiled your every attempt at locating him. And now it's none of my business? We don't know if he's the murderer. Oh, please. Of course he is. Look, this just isn't the time. He took a piece of the mirror so we can't use it. The only thing we know is that Crane's going to see a witch at 2 o'clock. A.M. or P.M.? A.M. Listen, Bluebeard, you're not a part of this. I don't think you're in any position to turn away help. <laughs> you're not needed here. Fine help. You're not needed here. Just ignore him. Ignore me? Look. Just we ignore. Know that train is going to see a witch, and it's to acquire a magic ring. What's the ring? We don't know what it does or who it's assigned to. Sends crane oh towards page out of the book. This farce was your ridiculous idea for a plan. I mean, who put you in charge in the first? Fixing the mirror was the most logical you're thing. You're a secretary. He's the sheriff. And none of you were chosen to run this office. Who elected you to make these decisions? Nobody, but that Who doesn't... elected her to spend my money? Well, I've been doing that unofficially for years. Snow can obviously handle this, so let's drop it. Well then. Yeah, yeah. For having the... the Commonwealth in mind. <sighs> All right, let's just look on the bright side. We know Crane is going to see the witch that's been supplying him black market glamours. Thanks to me. And that he'll be there at two. So that gives us a few short hours to find out who it is and where they live and get them all at once. And a few shorter hours the more you babble about it. We haven't been the ones babbling. So 
Since Lily used the glamours, she'd have known who the witch was. And I don't think Holly's burned her things yet. It would probably have the address or a phone number or something. And Bigby is free to go there if he likes. But I think the question you should be asking is just what do the two Tweedles know about this? It doesn't matter what they know. After tonight, they'd never go to their office. They're not smart enough to try and go anywhere else. The Trip Trap is the better option to track the witch down. That has to be our focus. I don't really care what you two do. I'm going to his apartment. What? You can't just go up there. And why the hell not? We already looked for the key, remember? I don't know where it is. Then I'll pick the blasted lock! <sighs> I've wasted enough time waiting for the mirror to find it. I won't waste any more. You just can't go up there alone, all right? I've no interest in nicking his drapes, my dear, if that's what concerns you. What concerns me is you traipsing through possible evidence. Oh, now it's evidence. Before you had no... You're not going anywhere. Now it's a crime you're not going anywhere. Bluebeard, you're not going anywhere. Really now? And what? You gonna stand here and babysit me? While the rest of your leads evaporate into mist? We have to find the witch, Bluebeard, since that's where he's going. Or the sniveling weasel chickened out. Never went anywhere. And is upstairs right now in his pitiful penthouse, crafting a fort out of couch cushions. Look, this is how a smart person would do it. So this is how we're going to do it. Wherever you go, I'll go to the other. I don't like you going anywhere unsupervised. He's up to something. I don't know what it is, but we don't have the time to really worry about it now. Where are you going to go, Bigby? Hmm. So you leave Crane alone, and we leave you alone. I'd love to join you, but there's some business I need to attend to. No. No, I'm better off dealing with things alone. I uh, don't need sheriff. Let's go... So you leave Crane alone? No, I'm better off dealing with... Let's go Crane's apartment. Crane's place is right here. I should check that out first. Perfect. And I'll go to those two imbeciles' office. Crane's penthouse number is 1903. Let me know what you find. I hope you know what you're doing. Said Crane lives in one nine zero three. And the door's open. Crane. Damn it. Must have missed him. Gotta be something about his witch here. Hmm. My dearest Snow, I know you must be aware of my feelings towards you. Watching you work. Able to control myself, it's because I love you. <sighs> Creep. Crooked man. This is all I could get. I'm afraid Snow will start to notice. I'll have the rest for you next week. Think about Crane. What's going on here? Yeah, confiscate the money. Might be useful. Yep, my key now. Go 
Sure. We used to teach in the old that days. Would be great. All right? Everybody can stay upright. In the meantime, leave the light on now. See ya. Okay, that's gotta be like something locked. Usually I don't go here fight first. I usually go to the trip trap. I wanted to try something different. <gasps> really, Jack? Jack? Wow. It is just unbelievable running into you. I mean, of all the places, this weather, right? Yeah, you're under arrest. A little damp, I guess. But you know, some people like that sort of thing. Explain yourself now. Okay, okay, okay. I know what it looks like, but before you go jump into conclusions, Crane pays me to water his plants when he's gone. It's a stipend, but you know I need the work. I wouldn't do it for free, right? You know me. So, anyways, uh, now that I'm done... I don't see any plans. Hey! Okay! You got me. Just take it easy. Don't make a big deal out of this. I'd like to keep all my teeth. I don't like being lied to. Yeah. Okay. I should have punched him. I heard Crane was leaving town. I figured he owed us little people a parting gift. Or just me a parting gift. You heard? I have my sources, okay? You see how he lives. He doesn't need any of this shit. A little Robin Hooding never hurt anyone, right? Have you heard anything about a witch? In connection with Crane? Maybe something about a ring? What are you getting at? What else do you want me to say? To leave. I got bills to pay. Not like Crane's gonna use any of this stuff. Did somebody send you and tell the truth? No, it's just me. Just take it easy. <sighs> you know, this tortured, lonely pig eater bit's gonna get old eventually. Don't you get tired of it? I mean, what are you even doing here? Are you just wandering around Crane's apartment? I'm trying to find Crane's witch. He's supposed to be heading there. Crane's witch? Is that why he took off? Who the fuck cares about any of that? I mean, don't you think, well, I don't know, solving these murders should be your top priority? Crane's definitely involved in all of this. I just need to track him down. How is he not no, heard? No involved? How do you mean? That's all I'm going to tell you. Sure. Well, you don't want to tell me everything, so why should I tell you everything? Well, looks like you've got it covered. Anyway, it was really nice catching up with you. I mean that. Bigby, I believe you're uh, blocking the doorway there. If I could just uh, squeeze through. Really? You know, on second thought, it's actually funny I ran into you like this. I think I can help you out. Okay. I'm listening. Go on. I'm listening. If you're looking for Crane's witch, well, I just happen to know who she is. If you're interested, information comes at a price. How convenient. How convenient. Convenient for you, Sheriff. I got the info you need. This is an easy win. Let's make ourselves a deal. I tell you about Crane's witch, and you forget you saw me here. One hand washes the other sort of thing. Wipe the whole incident under the rug. Come on, what do you say? I'm gonna regret this! Fine. You got a deal. You got a deal. Tell me where I can find this witch. Strong grip. Her name is Auntie Greenleaf. Crane's been trying to keep it under wraps for years. I'm not sure what kind of a deal he's made with her, but from what I hear, she? she's in pretty regular contact. Where can I find her? Well, um, you see, uh, the thing is, I don't know where you'd find her. Exactly. You've gotta be fucking kidding me. But even a name is a good start, right? I mean. That's more than what you came in with. That is true. I'll keep my eyes open for you. If I find anything else you might be interested in, I'll be sure to let you know. 
I think this arrangement can be beneficial to both of us down the line. Okay. Ugh. It was just lovely running into you, baby. Hang on a second. Oh, What's in the bag? What's in the bag? If it's nothing of uh, consequence. talk to yourself like that do you always butt into other people's conversations the witch uses the white deer on everything it's her symbol or trademark I guess. figured i could sell these at the lucky pawn the lucky pawn it's one of the crooked man's places i work there sometimes when i need some stability okay it's a pawn shop get it yeah yeah did you find any more of these uh no Wanna try that again? Wanna try that again? You wanna try that again? Is that it? Take me? You better fucking go. Are you still here? I'm done here. Fine by me. Who are you talking to? What's he doing here? Evening, Miss White. Good evening. What's going on? He's here to help. Jack had some information about Crane's witch. Oh, what did you find out? Her name is Greenleaf. Auntie Greenleaf. But he doesn't know where we can find her. Great. Crane's meeting her at 2 a.m. And Snow, I found a note with some money attached. Crane has been embezzling it from Fable Town. <laughs> of course, because why half-ass being a complete sleaze? Yeah, and I kept the money. This is tied to the murders. I mean... I guess it doesn't matter yet. It's wholly connected. It's connected. Maybe the girls found out about it. I don't know. Mm, maybe. Crane's meeting Greenleaf at 2 a.m. And we have no idea where she is. We're going to cut it close as it is. Wouldn't she be listed in the business office? I've had Buffkin searching for any unauthorized witches, but so far we haven't found anything. Great. I'll give him the name, but we don't have time to wait around. You should try Holly's. She still has all of Lily's things. If she hasn't burned it already. There's still Tweedledee's place. We know they're involved. And we know that's where Bluebeard went. Where do you want to go? We don't have much We time. should probably go to the D D's office. Um. We'll go pay the Tweedle brothers a visit. I'm sure they know something. Okay. I'll give Buffkin the name and hope he finds something in the records. Let me know what he comes up with. I'll be in touch. I hope you'll do the same. We'll catch him, Snow. Hang on, Jack. I want to talk to you. Oh, hi, Bluebeard. Oh, no, I'm sorry, big guy. You can't come in. Yeah, yeah, because the thing is, and I don't know if you'd heard, but I'm a third-degree black belt in, uh, you know, whatever. So I wouldn't take any chances, hombre. Last guy who messed with me got his marbles kicked right through his abdomen, right? Uh, excuse me. <laughs> oh, you good, sir? Hey, Sheriff. Fly catcher. Are you okay? Your face. Bluebeard was here. He was and he punched you? I don't know what. He said it was an official investigation. But how was I supposed to know if he was telling the truth? When I wouldn't let him in. Shit. Found what he was looking for, I guess. It's just super annoying. I just finished cleaning him. You know where he went? No. I don't know what he wanted. I, I didn't see what he did after. I'm really sorry, Big B. Was he telling the truth? He said you sent him, but I don't know. I, I didn't send him here to go. Hey, Gianna, how are you going? Just let people in here. But then he got mad. Said I didn't send him. Oh, just terrible things. He was lying. I didn't send him here. You did the right thing. Okay. Good. I'm good, thanks for asking. Oh, what have you tired. been up to? Crane already let me go from the woodlands. Is that why you're here? He said I just got in the way. Told me to get lost. The twins offered me a job here working the night shift, so I'd have something. What do I do now? It's nice, you know, quiet. I come in and clean up. They're usually pretty nice. Nothing much? Well, Crane is gone now. I, I 
can't see why he couldn't come back to the woodlands. Really? That would be... Thank you. Come by the business office. I can't make any promises. Right, of course. Look, I'm running out of time. Ah, shit. Is everything okay? I gotta go. What? Where? I'm headed to the trip track. Just, uh... Just call Snow and tell her what's happened, okay? Can you do that for me? Okay, I, I guess. <laughs> Man's just like Shaggy. Man looks like Shaggy sure. Rogers. Sure. Take care of yourself, Fly. You too, Sheriff Big. Did you find the wolf? I am the wolf. I'm playing as the wolf. Big B is the wolf. He's the alpha. <laughs> He's the big bad wolf. That was fucking time. stupid. We're closed. Guys, it's me, Bigby. Is my name even going to work? I Woody, it's the sheriff. <laughs> hey! What's up, Woody? Come on in, buddy. Okay, I will. So what we drinking? Uh, what? He's a traveler. A weary traveler in search of some hospitality, right? Yeah, yeah. I am. Sure. How'd you know? Thanks. I want a drink. Anybody else want a drink? Yeah, I want some scotch. Friend, Swinehart said you shouldn't mix you it. You think I give a fuck what that fucking guy says? Or what you say? Friend, really, you shouldn't drink right now. Swinehart told me that Holly was here. I need to talk to her. Yeah, where's Holly? Holly's asleep in back. But you won't be able to wake her. Really? Doc gave him both barmesidal and brosa. For the pain. Look, the deal is, if you resist going to sleep, like I am right now, it gives you a very, very, very nice high. <laughs> what the fuck? And he said that he shouldn't mix it with alcohol. Hey, 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 a little bit of alcohol's not gonna hurt him. Not the end of the world. Yes, he did. Certainly did. Well, let me tell you something. I haven't felt this good in a long time. Seen Lily's That's things? Story. Have you seen her sister's things? That wasn't burned at the funeral. I saw her come in with something. What is not fat? Nope. Man's just seen. muscular. Man's built like Mr. Incredible. That funeral back there? That was a shitty fucking send-off for a pretty okay lady. Yeah. You weren't fucking there. Talking to Biggie now, okay? What, you, you, why is he getting treated like shit? Can't say you being there helped things much. Ren, don't start nothing. Who's starting anything? I'm not. You think I shot up the place? It wasn't my fault. They got away though, didn't they? Uh, yeah, yeah, did you see the? Did you see how fast yeah, the fucking twins ran right. off? I'm too out of it to get into. They weighed like 500 pounds, and they ran like fucking clear the Speedy Gonzales. Dung heap of a fucking shit town together. Built like a bowling ball. gonna have a toast. All of us. Fellas, I'm here for one thing. Look through Lily's belongings and get out of here. Yeah, right? yeah, I know, I know. And I want to help you, okay? And I will. But first, indulge me. It'll take two seconds. Yeah, okay, I'll, I'll indulge him. It's, uh, it's alcohol. Of course I'm going to take a little bit of alcohol. We'll all hunt and peck for Lily's shit or whatever. And Bigby didn't come here to get loaded with him. I don't want to get loaded with him. Yeah, he wants me to load something into him. To the dead. Alright, now help me. Friend, 
Doc said you needed a rest. Uh -oh. <laughs> You're fucking gonna warn me about it, huh? You're not my fucking mother, so just get off my back. I said I was sorry, all right? I can't do anything about it. It's done. <laughs> No, I'm not gonna do anything. I'm just gonna. You gotta let him watch Mr. Lee on Ashley talking. <laughs> oh, I miss it too. What more do you want? What else can I fucking say here? I don't want anything from you, Woody. I want there to be a big black hole. I, I miss, I miss, I miss the Ashley as well. What is the problem here? What stupid shit will you both not let go of? Oh, I forgot. You haven't heard the news. What news? This walking lard cake is <laughs> paying Holly's sister to let him fuck her behind all of our backs. Yeah, usually and you don't uh, don't you, you don't usually tell everyone that you're sleeping with. Shit. What fun that must have been. Trick after trick of this fat ass and uh, he's not that fat. For that, all right? Your thing, whatever it was, it wasn't a big deal. It wasn't. I never fucked her when she was snowing. I didn't know Mango that Holly troll goofy! You knew Holly would flip out. And oh, you knew out. <laughs> for a damn good fucking reason. You know what? Fuck this. I don't need this shit. Oh yeah, that's it. Now you're teary-eyed. You were always such a low life. I don't know why I never realized it till now. What do you think about this fucking loser, Sheriff? He can think whatever he wants. I don't give a shit. No, that's okay, because I'll tell you what he thinks. He thinks you have to pay chicks to touch your fat, hairy ass. Damn! That's not what I think. <laughs> Maybe I should have said something. Yet again, every time I talk, shit just gets worse. Friend, I don't know where Lily's shit is. Check Holly's room, I don't know. But I wouldn't wake her if I were you. Sleepwalkers and trolls. I think that's the role. Maybe, uh, ogres, too. What a day. Am I right, Sheriff? What a fucking day. Finally, he's asleep. I think the next Resident Evil game we're gonna play is Revelations. I mean, I streamed all the other. I streamed two, three, four, seven, and eight. I don't own five or six, but I do have Revelations, the first one. So I might play the first Revelations. That's her thing. So maybe, move that arm, or just. Scoot the box down and just pull it out. Looking kind of breedable there, Holly. Yo, you might want to fucking trim your toenails. Ew! Yo, look at the size of those toenails. Ew! I need to trim them up. No, it's me, Big B. No, Holly. It's me, Big B. Big B. Eyes closed. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll, I'll, I'll leave me, right now. I'm not in the mood for entertaining. But what the fuck? I know you're not going to leave. You do what you want. You always do what you want. That's Twiddle D in the back, or Twiddle Dumb, one of them, one of the fucking fatties. Do you even give a shit about us? The straight. Well, yeah, I'm one of you. The ones that aren't in that fancy high Yeah, I'm one of you. High rise. Holly, just because I live in the woodlands doesn't mean I'm not one of your strays. I'm not Crane or Cole. I didn't exactly grow up wearing clothes. 
Yeah, I know you did. Yeah, I. When will you play? When will you play RE? Uh, I don't know. I, I probably this week sometime. I do, I, I have to download it. But re like I said, Revelations is the next one I'm gonna play. Be honest, Sheriff. Why are you going after him, Crane? You could have quit a long time ago, but you're still going. Why? Uh, I don't know Did why. Give you this because I hate that bitch. Because I hate Crane. I'll take any excuse to get Crane. This just happens to be a good one. Well, at least you're honest. You just remember whatever bullshit excuse you tell yourself. I'm counting on you. No, she's counting on me. So I don't have any more. No, I'm gonna fuck Snow later, though. If you were getting your glamour on this day, then one of these has to be the witch. Auntie Greenleaf. Gotcha. Uh, no. Okay, if you're there, pick up, okay? Snow? Oh, thank God. Tell me you found something. Yep. I got it, Snow. Her address was here with Lily's things. It's on, uh, White Plains Avenue, 1284. It's an apartment complex. How do you know that? Get going. You're welcome. Who was missing? Uh, so Big B. I just got the story yeah, so far is so that there's funny. murders going on, and there's this yeah, guy named Ichabod Crane. He's he's like suspect number one, and he and he's gone. He's he's missing. But this is where he's meant to be. Uh, he's meant to be here, but he's not here because I played this game before. Child. Sorry. You woke me up. You don't look like someone. Sorry you look that. high. Is something wrong? I don't think I've ever seen you before. Well, pardon the intrusion. I wasn't aware this was a Munchkin's house. No, Dorothy, it isn't. <laughs> Sharp kid. <laughs> Who are you? Rachel. Who are you? Just so I'm Big B. I'm Big B. This is Snow. I should have said I should have scared the kid. I'm the big bad wolf, and I'm gonna huff and puff your blue and there, your house down. Is there anything you need? Is Auntie Greenleaf at home? Does she live here? You mean my mom? She ever, you know, make the nightstand levitate, turn frogs into cats, that kind of thing? Is she a witch? <laughs> yeah. No, cut I to the chase. Never call my mommy that. She treats me all right. She treats you all right. Mm. She treats you all right? Shouldn't your mother be treating you, like, better than all right? I'm pretty sure if child services asks you, Oh, how do your parents treat you? And they say, or, and they say, and if you say all right, I'm pretty sure you're getting taken away. Oh, fucking I would. Hey, Big B, I'm gonna trust you not to break anything. Don't get me in trouble. What are we looking for specifically? Crane. He could still be here. No one's been over all night. Lies. I know, I know he has. The butcher. What's that? The package. Having to do with someone called the Butcher. It's empty. Well, it could just be meat. Could just be a box full meat. No one here but me. Then why is your mom leaving here, leaving you here by yourself? Mm. 
Imagine he was actually I behind that. Crane was here either. Nothing. See. Shut up, kid. Slap the kid. Slap the child. Being a bitch. What is this? Mommy uses that to carve her trinkets. It's from the old world. Trinkets? Um, like glamours? Oh, she knows. She played. She. The kid just played the fifth. Keep getting whiffs of that aftershave of his. I do too. How can you can smell it? That now, please? Yeah, you can. In a different fucking house. Or you can call Is it. that a glamour tooth? Mommy really doesn't let anyone play with that. Trust me, I try. She's too sharp. Oh, you're, you're about to see something, alright. No, 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 no. Please, please, please. Just put that back exactly where you found it. No one is allowed to play with it's that. Right. Why? Bigley's not going to break Mommy, it. Don't understand. She will freak out if she discovers I've let people in here and let them touch her stuff, okay? She checks all the time to see if things move. I don't want to get in trouble. Snow, come on. Are you kidding? It's a glamour tooth. Something's going on here. No! Put it down! Please! Don't yeah. This isn't what you think. She's a witch. That guy isn't here, I promise. It's gonna be okay, Rachel. Please. Yeah, Rachel, you're cooked. I'm begging you. I don't want to... I don't want to get in trouble. <laughs> you don't want to get in trouble with your mother, or you don't want to get in trouble with us? <laughs> That's what she said. What? You picked the wrong night to lie to me. No more lying, no more ring around the rosy, no more bullshit non sequiturs. You're done. It's over. You're gonna tell me what I want to know right now. All right, start explaining. Oh, I'm Jay. From the beginning. Uh, I was born in the woods to a jackal and his none of this pathetic witchcraft. Crap is gonna prevent me from prying what I need from your gullet. Now, damn, damn Big B! A fortune teller, wolf. I have no heavenly idea where he went to. You have to know something, unless you want a recipe for owl stew. You're an accomplice to murder. Do you realize that? You might want to check your facts on that. Yo, so you're saying Crane? Wait, wait. Obviously, we know Crane's not the killer, but Crane's an accomplice to murder, which and. She knows Crane for making her to an accomplice to an accomplice of a murder. So you're I done. Help you. I have no interest in being turned into a skink and crushed under a roof. skink. What the fuck's a skink? There's powers to be a sink. Your pathetic authority. Whatever it is, Greenleaf. Whatever it is that's keeping you from. You should. <laughs> you should see me. No, no, we can protect you. You're afraid of, we can make sure that it won't I want to play this game. <laughs> yeah, it's good. It's really, you it's really good. No the second season's coming out this okay, year. It says this think, year, but I think I it's think next year. Second season's meant to be coming out this sometime. Has been selling illegal glamours that continue to undermine everything we've built. She's harboring a fugitive that took advantage of it, and now she's resisting every attempt to make things right. I frankly don't give a crap if she's afraid for her life. We can at least make sure she never hurts us again. We're destroying the tree. No! You, bro, you better give me an answer right now, bitch! How dare you come in here and threaten to take from me the one thing that... That tree is ancient. It's part of the family, and it's the only thing paying for this shithole apartment. And the fables who can't afford the glamours from you come to me for help. Without them, where do you think they could go? Don't give me that. You're making money off of other people's misery. Two fables are dead because of this. Yeah, it's true. It's too no. dangerous leaving this stuff with her. You think I like being the old woman in these stories? The men are heroes, the ladies are whores. Hey, 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 hey. Chill. No need to say that die. word. We have very different ways of handling our fate. And very different means to handle it, too. And I don't use it as Greenleaf could be useful. Lives. Isn't there another way? She's a witch. Can't she just work for us? That way she'd be official. You want to reward her for criminal behavior? We can't trust this woman on the 13th. It doesn't matter, because I'd never do it. I'm not a house cat, and I don't play well with others. Oh, trust me, no one would confuse you for a cuddly animal. Ha! <laughs> nice! Bigby, this is an order. Burn the tree. Oh, no, no, shit. No, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. 
Crane was here. He was here and he left. Uh, we know that. He went to the pudding and pie to try to use my ring on the girls over there to get information. What does the ring do? He thinks it's the ring of the spell. He found it all. Here's the protection around the girls' speech. He says pulling the truth out of them will prove his innocence. It won't, though. Damn thing lost its power decades ago. And why I'm give it sorry, to him? But we still can't let you keep the tree. It wouldn't be right after what's happened. Big B. Please, Sheriff. Don't. I didn't click anything. Okay, well, I guess I see where I stand with you. Alright, let's go. Oh, okay, I wasn't going to hire her, and I wasn't going to say tell Snow that she's not my boss. Don't think this is over. I the fun about these games is that I played it. I, this is my fifth time playing it. Wait, no. It's my third time playing it. No, fourth time playing it. It's my fourth time playing it. And what I love about these types of games, no matter how many times you play it, you can always get a different outcome, and there's always like some. You can always change the story, or like little like how people treat you. No, it's nothing you need to concern yourself with. Down! I think so, at least. Shit. Hold on. Oh, give me a spot. Mr. Clean, come to smash up the rest of our place. Oh, yeah, actually. Come to audition, oh, okay, punch him. Oh, fucking fuck, man. <laughs> Don't call her a bitch again. <laughs> Yes, no. You can't just go in there. We have a problem. Tell me who did it. Just tell me who did it. I know you know. Mr. Crane, please. She can't help. I know you know what the plan is. I won't be held accountable for this. I can't. I can't. I'm sorry. I... Damn. Damn. Crane, chill. Oh, my God. Beat me. Yeah. I don't. You would do, are you came in here and you're harassing the bitch? Stupid ring working, that's all. It won't work. But once this ring gets through, I'll know what's going on and this whole thing will be over. That's all. Please. I'm innocent. Completely, completely innocent. The ring won't work. Ring leaves sold you out. What? No. This will work. I assure you, it, it must. I, I went to the... Man, th man thinks he's Green Lantern. Come on, please. Tell me you killed her. My lips are sealed. <laughs> womp womp. <laughs> How many years? What? How many years has this been going on? Two. Too many. But I didn't kill those women, Bigby. Please, I had nothing, nothing to do with that. I just, I, it just, oh God. We found the photos of you and Lily. I know, I know. That's, that was, I just. Care to explain? I love you, Snow. I love, I love you, and, and I'm sorry I'm not Prince Charming, okay? I'm sorry I didn't cheat on you and run away to Europe. You don't love me, Crane. I know what this is. I've seen it before. It is not love. You're saying <laughs> Prince Charming she cheated on her and ran away? <laughs> Bigby? <laughs> She's mine for the taking now. Did it. What? Look at him. Do you really think this man murdered these women? <laughs> no. It's pathetic. He wouldn't be brave enough. We've been chasing this guy. Just why now? Because look at him. You said you found evidence of. Yo, is that a bra in the background? Of using our How big? for his own ambitions. That's one thing. But don't you have doubts he's a murderer? We've both known him for so long. <laughs> no, he's the killer. Believe I'm hearing this. Did you see how he was acting when you showed up? Fuck up knows more than he's saying. I don't. I don't. You do. You, you really yes, do. Okay, he probably does. But 
there's a difference between being involved and being the guy who did it. Okay, but if Crane didn't kill Faith and Lily, I'm sorry, but who the hell did? We'll find out who did it soon enough. Just trust us, Vivian. I didn't intend for any of this to get so... You've been stealing money from Fabletown for years, haven't you? Yeah. We're not gonna kill you, so quit your shivering. Ichabod Crane, you are under arrest for the misappropriation um, of... You're, you're, not, you're not deputized, you can't do that. ...right to counsel, the right to depose witnesses. But as of right now, you're coming with us. Get the fuck up. Now. I guess we know who's in charge, Sheriff. Yes, no white. What it takes to run that office. I don't, but she does. Sacrifices. I made sacrifices. And she's gonna sacrifice you. Share one minute. Put you on a pentagram. Sacrifice a goat. Just so the wheels don't fall off the goddamn wagon. I did the best I could. Break his nose. And the town took everything it could out of. We're better than you. <laughs> We're better. We're better at this than you. Uh, yeah, because Crane, at the beginning of the game, instead of wanting to run the office, you wanted to go get a fucking massage. Instead of doing work, you wanted to go for a massage. Idiot. still just be walking out. You had plenty of time to walk in front of that car. Get, oh, okay, 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 great. Maybe not that way. Hi. What you got there? Um, a pedophile. I really want to kill one of them. Oh, it's been so long since I killed one of them. Look, oh, I don't know if I should. Come under our attention that you're actually put this. Attempting to claim what is the personal property of the crooked man. By the way, are you He's making panels or lights and snow like them? Pissed his sheets until he was fourteen. Sound uh, familiar? not yet. I haven't told them anything. Not now, not now. Shh. The grown-ups are talking. <laughs> Who are you? Who are you? No, 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 no. That's not how this works. Ah, uh, here he does. Says you are going to walk Crane over here. Like a good doggy. It wasn't my fault. Shut Damn! Up. You're interfering with official Fabletown business. Step I support aside. feminism. Tweedledee, what's the, uh, you know, the thing the Mundies call me? What? what? My nickname. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, Bloody, Bloody Ma Mary. That's it. Thank you. And do you know why? Bloody Mary. Because some of them, they think it's funny to have their little sleepovers and go into their little bathrooms and say my name five times in the mirror. They find it less funny when I actually show up and feed their lungs to the family dog. <laughs> oh, whoa! Okay, speed! Like golf, to relax. This is my job. <laughs> I like my Fuck dog. off. You can fuck off if you think you're getting him. I told you he'd never just give him up. What say? I you say I'm not I'm not I'm not ready to the Snorlax stuff yet.
like me? Like I said, I find it funny. I find it funny how they bring shotguns knowing they can't kill me with shotguns. Oh, this is the coolest fucking... The ending of this episode is the, is the best. He's getting fucking riddled with shotgun bullets or shotgun shells. And he's just walking through them. The fucking... It's a shootdown. How much... Why do they have unlimited bullets? I'm the big bad wolf, remember? Who's dying? Who's getting killed first? Yeah, you like that? You like that? Oh, it's your turn. Oh, you messed up, bro. You should have just let me have my fun. You want him? Here, have Porky Pig. I'll have Pepper Pig over here. Did you really try to hit me with a shotgun? Oh, you're dead. You're cooked. You're done, buddy. I'm not killing him. I'm not killing him. I'm not killing him. I'm just proving a point. <laughs> Look at him! Man, man have the anime white eyes when he gets knocked out. Uh... Whoops. I'm sorry? <laughs> Like Venom, yeah. That was a good show, but you know, they just didn't know when to end. Like I'm not gonna, I'm not, I wasn't gonna kill him, mainly because it has severe consequences later on. Plus, I, I, I believe in, I don't believe in killing, but I believe in fear. Oh fuck! I know I I'm finger blast. I'm finger banging my controller right now. Wait! Stop! Just take him, okay? Take Crane. Just stop, please. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. No. Don't do this. Did his hand just fade Let through the go. fucking window? The man says it's okay with him. Hello, Ichabod. Fucking moron. Oh, and just between us girls, Crane ain't no killer. No, oh, we knew that. I mean, look at his face. You couldn't stick a pig if his life depended. I could. If it would even if it was my life or an animal, that animal's dead instantly. Fucking, I'd kill an animal just for fun. As long as I get to cook it like and eat it later. Dear. Too pussy to ruin a Tweedle stay. Well, this is gonna be. A beautiful little 
relationship we have with you guys. Really, I mean it. I'm jazzed about it. <laughs> you like jazz? Out with the old, in with the new. Long live the queen. I'm sure we'll be in touch. Don't you mean long live the king? See you around. I never heard of long live the queen. What this bitch doing here? going like this this is getting worse by the minute we don't have time to sit around and wait for their next move I'll get things under control Woody I'm not gonna tell you again back off dog this doesn't concern you what do you want to talk about I just wanted to um, about last night after what they did to you are you even gonna be able to stop them don't hold out on me, Jack. You've always got some angle. Not this time. I know when a mark's not worth the trouble. Do you? Don't make me come down there to deal with you. I don't want it. You don't want it. Oh, I want it. <laughs> I want Snow White in my bed later. Again, you don't have much choice at this point. Do you? Okay, I reckon we'll do episode four, then we'll move on to the next game.